I'm John Batchelor. The birth of the moon. Have you ever wondered where the moon came from? There are theories, and there's a reigning theory, but no one's satisfied. The reigning theory is that early in the solar system, a Mars-sized planet, not Mars, but something like that, struck the Earth, and the detritus spinning off was the moon. The fifth largest moon in our solar system stabilizes our orbit, brings us the tides, it's a joy, and when there's a full moon, we can all wish. However, the new theory that it was the product not of a collision but of centrifugal force, the Earth spinning faster and faster and then colliding with planetesimals and spinning off pieces of the Pacific or pieces of the crust. That's taken hold in these last years for reasons to do with the fact that the Earth and the Moon, the mantle, are very similar, spookily similar. As in, how could these two objects be so similar if this collision took place in the early solar system? New work by a couple of planetary scientists has developed the theory that the early solar system, very early on, when the dust cloud formed the sun and then the early planets, there were about 1,000 to 2,000 protoplanets in the inner solar system colliding all the time. Those formed the five planets. Five. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and Mars-like. That collision then could be explained on the fact that of all of these planetesimals, 30 to 40 percent of them were exactly alike. That again satisfies the fact that the Earth and the Moon have the similar rock, similar mantle. Not everybody's satisfied with this, but right now, the Moon is a product of the same rough birth that the Earth experienced once upon a time. And aren't we lucky, the accident of collision, to have it on an autumn night? I'm John Batchelor.